7.30 at night here in Villa Vicencio. We've been out on the road all day looking at some pretty interesting things. But we discovered when we came into town this evening that our license plate has the wrong last number. Apparently, they have driving restrictions every day depending upon the last number on your license plate. Two numbers are not to be on the streets during rush hour. And we are on the street during rush hour with the wrong number. So, Hernando's back talking to the police officer right now. Luckily, he's not going to impound the car, but he is going to make us sit here for half an hour until the restriction's over. <laughs> Columbia wins again. Ted's Fish Room presents Columbia 2016. Sponsored by Amazonas Magazine, Rapashi Superfoods, and SwissTropicals.com. This day is going to end stranded along the side of the road in Via Vicencio with the threat of having our car impounded for a few days, but earlier in the afternoon the outlook is much brighter. The rainy morning cleared to bright skies, but the damage to the streams was done, and high muddy water prevented us from looking for fish in any of these rivers. We stop at several places along the route back towards Via Vicencio, but do not find any that had the water clarity that I am looking for. This larger stream was beautiful and full of plants. The spot looked very promising, but the water is also very dark and tannin stained. I think it would be worth going for a swim and even running the seine into the edges of the dense plants, but my guides say that they have a special place to reach and time is running out. Our last collecting destination for the day is located quite a ways off the main road on land owned by some ranchers to give Hernando and Alessandro permission to collect fish there. The area is beautiful, almost like a park. The cattle pastures are clear, but the small streams that flow between them are full of tropical plants and, hopefully, fish. This stream is a very slow moving backwater off of the main flow of a small river. It is more like a ditch than a stream. The total distance from where the water is deep enough to hold fish to the river it flows into is only a few hundred meters. This is a completely different type of habitat than what we've seen before. Very tight, very plant filled, very small water. Hopefully we're going to be able to get the underwater camera going and be able to see something here. Absolutely beautiful though, lush and green. The banks are muddy and overgrown and there are green plants growing submerged as well. Alessandro tells me that there are more Pistrum alacrina here as well as a tetra they do not catch anywhere else. This undescribed tetra looks like a little hemogrammus type. It's very pretty. Time to get wet and see if we can see them under the water. Amazonas, the world's favorite aquarium magazine. Amazonas is one of the world's legendary tropical fish publications read by tens of thousands of enthusiasts who are passionate about keeping fascinating and thriving freshwater aquariums. Every issue brings rare fish husbandry and breeding, world-class aquarium systems, freshwater aquarium advice, and thought-provoking news and much, much more. Stay inspired, stay informed, and stay connected to the world's most passionate aquarium keepers. Subscribe to the world's favorite aquarium magazine, Amazonas. Rapashi Superfoods combines superior nutrition and ingredient quality in a gel food that fish like to eat. From staple diets to specialty feeds, there is a Rapashi Superfood formula that will benefit every fish in your aquarium. And the long-lasting gel allows fish to feed naturally on a food source that will stay in the water for many hours. Rapashi Superfoods are available from dependable retailers that specialize in high-quality aquarium and reptile products. For more information, visit the Rapashi Superfood website at www.rapashi.com. The water is relatively clear, but tannin-stained. 
There are a lot of leaves, sticks, and other botanicals littering the sides and bottom. Plants overhang the sides, but where the sun reaches the bottom of the ditch, submerged plants are growing. This is a very different habitat than the fast water streams we have explored so far. The plants are spectacular, growing in large clumps, but those masses of plants are like islands, surrounded by empty space around them with only a muddy bottom with the decaying organic matter on top. There are several female Epistogramma alacrina leading fry. At one point I can stand in one place and see three or four of them at once. They are leading the fry through the tangle of plants, detritus, and algae on the bottom of the ditch looking for food out in the open sunlight. The males are nowhere to be seen, most likely hiding up under the overhanging plants along the edge of the ditch. Nano habitats mean nano fish. Lots of small tetras at this location. This is not an easy body of water to walk through without stirring up a lot of muck. So after filming in one area, I walk a ways downstream to find some clear water. The current is so slow here that the sediments I kicked up earlier will take a long time to drift down this far. This section of the stream is very shallow and full of emergently growing plants. But there are fish moving. This spot is full of the local molly. Pocilia cocana, the same fish that we found in a ditch on the first day we explored the Llanos. I'm not sure if the fish here are introduced or not. Just downstream from the section with the mollies, the stream becomes harder to navigate and a barbed wire fence is strung over the ditch. That wire is a bridge for a colony of leaf cutter ants doing what they do. Here are some of the other fish that Alessandro netted while I was off filming. This location is special in many ways. One way is because it is the first stop that we have made that gave me the impression of a biotope that I might be able to recreate in an aquarium, which I will try to do in the next episode of this series. Don't miss an episode of Columbia 2016. Please subscribe to my channel and help spread the word by sharing this video with your friends. Thank you for watching Ted's Fish Room, and please check out my sponsors for this series, Rapashi Superfoods, SwissTropicals.com, and Amazonas Magazine.